Welcome to the first of a series of video lectures to accompany Learn You a Haskell for Great Good by Miran, I'm making a guess on pronunciation here, Lipovica. You can buy the book in dead tree form from No Starch Press or access it for free online at learnyouahaskell.com. These lectures are meant to accompany the book, not replace it. While the organization and most of the material will be the same, I'll gloss over some things that the book goes into in more detail and vice versa. It's up to you whether to watch or read first. Haskell is a programming language named after the logician Haskell Curry. It has three unusual features that make it very different from other languages you've probably worked with, like C, Java, and Python. Haskell is purely functional, is lazy, and has type inference. In most other programming languages, you can think of a function like this. When we call it, the function takes input and looks at the state of memory, the values of variables. The function can then either modify what's in memory, this is called a side effect, return a result, or both. Haskell is a purely functional language, so functions never consult memory or have side effects. Given the same input, a Haskell function always produces the same output. This has several advantages. Since everything that affects the function's output is right there in the function's definition, debugging can be much easier. Also, when programming a parallel computer, we don't have to worry that another function running at the same time will mess up our data structures. As multi-core machines become more common, this last feature is generating renewed interest in functional languages. Haskell is also lazy. It waits until the last minute to evaluate expressions. You've seen something similar to this in a more conventional language. Suppose the two functions climb and eat are extremely expensive. They take a long time. The function resolve boredom is a little bit lazy in that it only evaluates one or the other. That only goes so far, though. Suppose we pass the results of two functions to another one. A non-lazy language like C or Java first calls both climb and eat, then passes the results on to exercise. Haskell can avoid some of this work by waiting until an answer is needed. It is majestically lazy. Finally, Haskell has type inference. You've probably worked in a statically typed language like Java, where every variable has a specific type. n is an int, x is a double, and so on. You've probably been annoyed by all the type errors you get from the compiler. Perhaps you've been attracted to a dynamically typed language like Python, where a variable can hold any value, regardless of type. Most experienced programmers prefer static typing because it is better to catch errors early when the program is being compiled rather than later when it is being run. Haskell tries to give us the best of both worlds by being statically typed, but usually not requiring us to declare the types. Instead, the compiler infers them. If we set n to be 2 plus 2, Haskell figures out that n is an integer. Enough abstraction. Download the Haskell platform from haskell.org. We'll start playing with the language in Chapter 2.